The grand old party came unhinged after watching its longtime stalwart, John McCain, and newfound media darling, Sarah Palin, lose the 2008 presidential election. The party was in disarray. It was fragmented, and it was fighting amongst itself. And it hated absolutely everything that the newly elected President of the United States stood for, including things that the Republican Party itself had long supported. The party spent all of 2009 and 2010 blockading democratic legislation, threatening to filibuster, and locking important bills like the Trade Act of 2009 in committee after committee. It successfully undermined the integrity of the United States and what most economists thought could have been a stimulus-driven recovery by cutting the legs out of all new proposals. Why would one party actively try to hurt the general welfare of the United States? Because it knew that American voters would overlook Republican Party antics and put the blame squarely on the majority, the Democrats. After sweeping back into power in the House of Representatives in 2011, the GOP has only increased its aggressive tactics. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell has stated that he would vote against anything supported by the President of the United States, even if it was something that he would otherwise support under a Republican administration. Speaker of the House John Boehner has taken to the airwaves countless times to decry President Obama's solutions for job growth, recovery, stimulus, regulation, and reform, all the while never putting forth a single agenda to move the argument forward on the Republican side. The Republican Party has gone from a party of no to a party of nonsense. It is a ridiculous sideshow meant to make conditions in this country as difficult as possible as a vehicle for victory in 2012. The American people have found themselves as a living experiment, and making matters worse, most of them are too blind to see it. Neither party is perfect, but today in America, one half of the government is actively stabbing the other half in the back. It is fighting viciously to take over a sinking ship while completely ignoring the leaks. The Republicans want to continue free trade, continue the wars, and continue the tax cuts for the rich, ignoring all of the malfunction caused by these policies. It is time that America's voting public took a stand and forced both parties to do their jobs and work together to lead this country forward.